Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be planning in my dashboard planner for the week of January 15th. And I'm going to be using uh, Modern Farmhouse from the Happy Planner. During my little planning hiatus, I was still buying um, sticker books if I caught them on sale. So I have about like, I don't know, I think it's about 10 over here that are... Um, probably old to you but new to me that I've never used before so I'm excited to start diving into some sticker books that I haven't played with yet. So I really like the colors and the fun modern designs in here so we're gonna make something out of this. I wanted to try to combine this washi tape with it and I also think like I have like a green color that would be good to layer. Sorry, my washi drawer is stuck probably on some washi tape if we're being honest, but I don't know why it won't go in. There it goes. Okay, so I have some of this green washi. I really think that would be fun to combine and play with, <clears throat> but first off, let's kind of flip through this. I've only done like a quick flip through of it. So I don't really know what I need or should grab. I really like these boxes. There's some checklists. These are fun. I really like these blues. Just trying to find like a good like jumping off sticker that I can start working around. I think I might skip the fruit and go with the flower, more floral-esque designs. There's a good amount of boxes in here. Oops. Question is, how do I want to start this? There's no like super long boxes that I can use for like lists and that's normally what I put right here. So what I'm thinking about doing, let's start off with this. I'm going to wipe this out. I'll probably need to wipe these out, but I'm going to start off with the washi tape. And I want to go down this side of the page with it. Mm. Yeah, I should probably just white it out. Okay. So, uh, let's do that real quick. Oops. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then... We'll get this down straight. I guess we'll take it all the way to the bottom. And then, of course, no Luna. My cat's trying to jump onto my desk, but there's like a candle and like a desk fan right in her way. She's not the most agile of cats. So I'm really worried that she's going to end up with, like, her tail on fire or something. Oops. I'm trying to make this not a straight line, but it kind of wants to. But we're going to tear this around, like so. And we'll keep this. Maybe we can just go ahead and put this on the other side. And here she is. She managed her way up here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this side. Luna. Okay, that kind of worked out well. Alright, not the straightest. Luna, you can't rub your face. She's trying to like scratch her face on my phone stand now. I'll move her in just a second, but I need to trim off this little strip of washi that slightly coming off the page. All right, we got that. 
Here, you can come sit in my lap. Oi. This thing. I need to fix my desk setup. I do want to incorporate some of this green as well. If I can find which way it goes. It doesn't want to come up nicely. Okay, there we go. I kind of want to add patches of this in here. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what path I'm taking with this yet, but I haven't played around with washi in a while. And I really like washi and I have tons of it, so I'm trying to just see what I like. not bad. I'll put this other piece over here. I'm going to put this one all the way on the edge to kind of make it a little different. And we're going to actually put this one on the top. Up here. Like so. just to switch it up a little bit and then I do have the lighter green so I'm wondering if I want to use a little bit of this as well so I'm gonna tear it first and then let's go ahead and just layer that partially over the green And then and then something like that. We can start adding some stickers on here and then incorporate little pieces of it here and there throughout the spread. Okay. Good starting point. I feel like this would be a good place for like a quote or one of these big stickers. I like this Be Humble and Kind. And I think this would be good to go right there. So I'm going to put that one off to the side. Oh, I like this too. I feel like this would be a good layering element on top of this, these words. Okay, I like that. Have this gray one. We're just going to put that one down here for now. Let's keep going. Now question, do I want to add in this pink color or do I want to keep it with these blues? I like the contrast of it, but I'm not sure. I like this box sticker and I do like these little page flags. We have this dark green box that I can use on the side. And then I do like these as well. So I'm going to grab a few of these. Play around with the greens and the blues. I don't have wax paper. My, my stickers don't stick to my desk, so I guess that works. Oh, we do have regular boxes, too. Mm -hmm. I 
I can grab a dark green. So let's grab a dark green and then maybe another gray. Back to here. Anything, I think I might use this one. And then we have the fruit. I like these page blocks too. I think they're cute and different. So I'll grab a few of those. We have these as well. This could be a header for over here. Then we have more florals. Let's see if there's anything else I might pull out from the back. The boxes. Could have just used these boxes. And then I thought I had seen a long box in here, but I guess I was mistaken. I'll do one more quick. Oh, these. Just don't know if I like the like rounded bit of it. Okay. Let's go ahead and white out these headers and then we'll work on a cluster. I think I'm going to do these. Let's go ahead and put this one right here. And then We'll line this up right here, but before I put it down, I'm going to white out this dark green bit. So it won't show through the sticker. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Not bad. Let's add this little quote right here. And then I know I wanted to add this humble quote, so I'm going to white out these days of the week. I don't normally use these. But I do want to figure out a way to kind of make that more interesting. So, when in doubt, add washi. So, let's do like a bit right there. We can do like a bit up here. I think I might bring this one down a little bit. Probably like right here, I can make it shorter if need be. We got a little more interesting there. And then I want to take this header box and layer it right there. Now we can work on the functionality over here. So I normally just do like bullet points, but I didn't see any bullet points in this book, which is fine. So we're just going to be doing like either page flags or boxes for the days. So we'll put this one right here. And then I like to alternate as well. So I need one more page flag. Um, should have used these. I'm going to switch this out. And we'll put this noted right here. And then I have a blue today that I'll just put down here. Okay. 
and then boxes for these two days. So I'm going to put this one over here, lay it on top of this washi, and then we'll add this noted. We'll just cover up that Friday. Okay, I like that. That was the only box, two boxes that I pulled. So let's see how we want to do this one. Remember, they both say remember, so not that one. But these are both the same design boxes, so I don't know that I want to use that either. So let's see <clears throat> what we can put with this. Where are all those circles at? Let me just put this back while I'm here because I'm not going to be using that or this one. I do like this today one though. There we go. So I think that's good on boxes. And this one's kind of by itself. So I'm just going to add this little page flag for layering purposes. Okay, I think this is really cute so far. So now it's looking a little empty down here at the bottom. So let's figure out a way to fix that. I did pull out this important thing. Let's just layer it right here since I already have it out. And then this is the last sticker that I have out that I pulled. So, kind of just fell right here, so I guess I'm just going to put that there. And I do want to add some more florals or maybe washi. Definitely no <clears throat> full-size boxes. Mm. I have... This blue one. We do have gold foiling, so I could get away with some of this. Oh my goodness, totally ripped that. Well, maybe I can make it as it's supposed to be like that. So I'm just going to cut this straight. And then. I'm going to layer this up here, and we'll just take the other piece and cut this one straight. And let's see. I also have this leaf as well. I think I like the thought of kind of layering it over this one. Not the best placement, but I'm going to leave it. Do what makes you happy. And I think that's good. I'm really just trying to find any more little decorative things that I can put in here to fill in some space, especially like Right here, it's a little more empty than I'd like it to be. 
Maybe these florals could be just like randomly falling. But watch these be like the only four. <clears throat> oh no, we have some without foiling. What am I doing? I like these better. Okay. Guess we'll do little like clusters of them. And there's two more on this page. Just random. Random, random. Oh, I forgot about this one. I put this one down after I ripped the other one. We do have these. I feel like I have sufficient gold foiling on here, but I think this is the last like decorative place besides these florals. So let's see. I feel like anywhere I add it, it's going to be a little, I don't know, too much. Unless I put it like right here with this floral. Kind of like that. Then I have nowhere to put this. I could save it. I don't know that I want to save it. We'll just layer that. And then maybe we can just add this one right here. I don't know. All right. I think I'm going to call this spread good. I love, love, love this color palette. I love blues and greens and turquoises. So I think this was fun. It was fun pulling out the washi and playing with it. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!